So good news everybody, No Man's Sky has been confirmed to be on the main panel at the Inside Xbox event later today. For everybody out there, it will happen at around 12 p.m. Pacific time, so just a few more hours until then. Just like before, the event will be streamed on both Twitch and YouTube. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stream it myself, if you guys want to, I can definitely pop in, we can talk more about stuff. Nonetheless, this might also mean that we finally get to see either a trailer or at least some in-game footage for once. Nothing has been confirmed yet except for the fact that the game will be there so just keep that in mind but since so far there was only a lot of talk about next and no actual gameplay being shown a lot of folks including myself are expecting something more than just Sean talking for 15 to 20 minutes about features that we already know we'll get and no the waking titan leaks do not count as in-game footage and most they are just reveals and that's pretty much it I'm definitely not betting for a trailer to be shown I do expect though for a lot of talk to happen with minimal gameplay footage or at most a teaser being shown at the end of it. I will admit that I'll gladly be wrong with this one. Personally, I would love to see those new character models in action, I would definitely want to see the animations for them, how they look, how they feel, all of the other features as well, even though it might seem that they have exhausted how much they can talk about stuff without ever showing any gameplay, there is still a lot of side stuff they can go over, such as for example digital pre-orders, their availability, if online play requires any form of subscription or any other technical detail that's unrelated to the actual gameplay and features we'll get. So there's still plenty to talk about without ever even showing any gameplay. It's just something that I'm expecting so that I don't get disappointed at the end of it. This is why I always say to keep your expectations low even though it's really hard to do it right now, especially since this is probably going to be the very last interview that will happen prior to the next release. In hindsight, I think it was expected for No Man's Sky to be part of this event. The past weekend there was a lot of hype going on with the Waking Titan ARG that culminated in a live drop in London. For those unaware, at the end of it, a No Man's Sky Xbox One case was uncovered and it was pretty much empty unfortunately and the gameplay on the back of it was blurred so you couldn't really make any details. Of course, a lot of people tried fixing it to no avail and while you can still make a lot of details such as the player model in the front and with some bass going on in the back, it's still very hard to see any details and to make out what's happening. Nonetheless, the message inside it pretty much said that Hello Games is really hopeful that we enjoy Next. So this could potentially mean that they hope we enjoy what they're about to show at the event, presumably. But personally, I just think they're generally talking about the game itself and the update itself. So I don't think they're talking about any trailer that's about to be planned or at least not until one week later, just like we talked in the past. That's pretty much my assumption right now. So this is just a part of me keeping my expectations low. I believe that there will still be a lot of talk, but it might show, it might just show a little bit of gameplay out there, maybe a teaser, but I don't think there will be a full trailer, though as I've said, I will gladly be in the wrong with that one. There's also the question of why No Man's Sky has no marketing behind it. You'd think that such an anticipated launch would definitely produce an in-game footage by now, especially with the re-release for the Xbox One. Well, for all of those who were asking this question, this is your answer. Definitely, No Man's Sky is taking part in lots of events, inside Xbox is one one of them, they took part in it like a couple of months ago as well. They did miss the E3, but there's no problem with that. They're here right now and I think the timing is perfect. There are a mere two weeks until the next update drops by, so there's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen and expect a lot more reveals happening from now on. We're entering the final stages before the next update drops by. The Waking Time ARG has like one more step until its completion, so all in all a lot of details and features will be confirmed and shown in the next update of weeks. Speaking of Waking Titan, this one arguably also qualifies as marketing and it's probably the best kind of marketing, the free kind, or at the very least it's inexpensive compared to regular means because I would assume that somebody still gets paid to do all of these puzzles that we solve all the time. Basically all marketing after the game's release in 2016 and especially before the Alice Rises was done through the Waking Titan alternate reality game. This and outside of the very few times Hello Games or 
course Sean Murray themselves confirmed certain features was the main way we've gotten new reveals for the updates that No Man's Sky would get. Essentially it's a form of marketing in which the community actively takes part to solve puzzles and the end of which they get treated with some very nice reveals, some content reveals here and there. Sometimes it's images, sometimes it's holograms or even in-game sounds. It's also rather inexpensive compared to regular means of doing it which would cost tens of millions of dollars if not more and it's also intriguing and fun enough to keep large portions of the community or at least the core fans interested for a long period of time. It might be annoying to a lot of you since it tends to last for months at a time but it's something that way bigger devs such as Blizzard for example have done in a similar way and it was pretty successful to them as well. The Waking Time ARG is one of the main ways it's done and it was also used successfully back with Atlas Rises. Of course the numbers might never get close to how they were at launch back in 2016. That was just the hype that was so huge it increased the game's popularity even that much more but I don't think we're gonna see that types of numbers anytime soon. This leads us back to the second point and that is the inside Xbox event. Not only did No Man's Sky already took part in one back in May of this year but there's also one later today as I've said. Back in May it was the first time Sean talked about the biggest features with getting next. I'm pretty sure that most of you know of them. We get multiplayer, we get character models, colonies, PvP, co-op, all of the crazy stuff you can see on this channel. You can check the previous interview or just wait to see this one which I'm so excited about. He also went over past updates, their importance as well as the fact that the game would continue to be supported with new and awesome free updates for the foreseeable future. It's also then when he talked about the fact that he much more prefers to make games rather than talk about it. So Hello Games never had a focus on marketing a game, they had a focus on rather building one and letting actions speak for themselves. Themselves. This is how Hello Games operates, they build something great and they let the people make their own opinions upon seeing things with their own eyes. If you've been on this channel long enough you know that I've said this many times before but this is the type of marketing that Hello Games employs when it comes to No Man's Sky. Very little detail is given prior to an update, mostly it's done through the ARG ever since the Atlas Rises at the very least and only in the last week or a few days leading to it will we get patch notes or a trailer. This is why I'm basing my expectations for today's interview exactly like that. I'm expecting them to just talk more about the game, maybe talk about few more features or go into a lot more detail about the already confirmed features and at the very end show some gameplay footage. Though again I won't mind to be wrong on this one. Again as I've said the hype is through the roof and it can definitely cause a lot of problems and I want to talk about it briefly right now and how it has proven to be so bad for this game. So people People tend to forget the size of Hello Games and the fact that it's still an indie studio no matter no matter what brief involvement Sony might have had. The expectations people set for this game even now are absolutely staggering and it's probably one of the main reasons a lot of people might end up being disappointed even if there's going to be a huge reveal today. If you don't believe me just go ahead and check out the comments on my channel, other YouTubers channels as well as on the main No Man's Sky subreddit. I check them all the time and every day there's a lot of people commenting about about features that they want to see in the next update even though we already have the vast majority of them confirmed we pretty much know what this update will be about. I think there's still a lot of misconception about what this game is about and it's probably a remnant from the old days when people didn't really had an idea how this game plays out, what to expect from this game and how to play it. Even now after all of the time and all of the huge updates that No Man's Sky has received it seems that there's a lot of voices from the past clinging to the problems that have long since been fixed, well with very few exceptions but for the most part they were fixed and even more than that we have received way more over what was initially promised, we've gotten so many amazing features so far so there's definitely going to be some hate after today's interview, there's going to be a lot of people disappointed, just keep that in mind. I think even if they do show a full trailer people will still want more because typically a trailer only lasts for like 1 or 2 minutes, 3 minutes at most if we base our expectations on what happened in the past. So even after this people will want even more details and that will only come like literally the day 
the game gets a release on the Xbox One and the day the next update drops by. So again, this is just typically what happens with the game and what the community's reaction is towards it. I'm one of the people who played this game from the very beginning. I've been through all of the stages of hate, hype, love and updates that this game has received. So definitely I see patterns reoccurring every now and then. Like every time a new update is announced, the same type of cycle of love, hate, hype keeps repeating itself to no end but whatever hopefully we all get what we want with this interview another thing a lot of folks tend to forget is that the marketing back in 2016 and prior to that was done because of sony's involvement hello games doesn't have and didn't have their own marketing team even back in those days it was sony who did all of the marketing which is probably one of the reasons why so many people blamed them for the game being too overhyped and missing features when it launched personally i think it's mostly a combination of people just setting expectations too high and the game not being able to live to them because well it's simply not a game that can contain all of the features that people would want if all the features that people and the community wanted made it into this game it would probably be like the biggest game ever like literally every day somebody wants something from it and I'm not sure that developers can keep up the pace with that even though they bring up some of the most amazing updates out there definitely something that most people don't even expect when they play this game but yeah, it's not like I'm trying to make excuses for the game, nor for Hello Games. So without all of this being said and done, what should the No Man's Sky fans look forward to? Well, for once, this is definitely the biggest update as of yet. This is the biggest update that No Man's Sky has received to date or will be receiving in like a couple of weeks from now. It will give you the possibility to play it on any of the three major platforms. It will have some amazing features in it. As I've said, we went over them in previous videos. There is also a recent Steam player count leak that shows the number of individual players in each Steam game as of July 2018. Only on the Steam version No Man's Sky already has roughly 1 million individual players. I'm not sure how many of them play today, I think there's only like 2000 people playing at any given time. There's also the good old games version that might be similar though with slightly smaller numbers as well as the PS4 community which is by far the largest of them all, by far the most implicated in all of this stuff especially regarding the Galactic Hub and all the other cool things that communities typically do in this type of game. So with the upcoming of the Xbox One release I expect for those numbers to grow even more as this is a brand new platform for this game. This is basically all that we have for today. We went over the fact that No Man's Sky will get another huge interview in the following hours. We went over the question of why does this game not get any marketing. Hopefully this video also answers that. I hope to see you guys during the event. I'm not sure again if I'm gonna stream it but I'm definitely gonna watch it drop a video tomorrow see what happens hopefully by the end of it at least get a little bit more details on stuff at least get a few screenshots if not a whole trailer or some in-game footage i would definitely like to see that but this is all the time we have for today ladies and gents i hope you enjoyed this video if you did a like and a subscribe would be super appreciated also don't forget about the notification bell and i'll see you guys next time